I bet I have you figured out. Because when your alarm goes off in the morning, you pick up your phone, you hit snooze, and you're like, yeah, let me just lay down for a second and flip through Instagram. 27 minutes later, you're like, oh, I got to get ready for school or get ready for work. And I just lost 30 minutes in the morning that I could have done all the things that I'm supposed to be doing. But hey, listen, no judgment here. In the last 30 days, I accidentally figured out what has now become my most important morning principle that I think will dramatically help you and change your life. So that's what we're talking about in this video here today. Now, along the lines of morning routines, one of the things I recommend is goal setting and journaling. Now, I've just released a free online journaling email course, and you're also gonna get notified of my actual print journal, the Master of the Day journal coming out soon. That is all in the description box there below. Click that first link for the journaling course, sign up, you'll get the seven day journaling course and be notified when my journal comes out first. Now, it's funny, when I first shot my first video on my morning routine, it was interesting because not only did it perform really well, in other words, you liked it, it's interesting how often morning routines come up in high-performing people. But you know that there's tons of different philosophies and beliefs around morning routines, but behind all of them is one key principle. It's that these high achievers use the morning to focus on their most important task for their most important goal. So in the last year or so, I've been finally unwinding these sleep problems that I've had and they're finally starting to go away. And one of the things that I started doing, because my Wi-Fi box is literally right underneath my bed, under my head, so I would unplug it at night and the default routine is to flip through Facebook and flip through Instagram. But when I had no Wi-Fi, because I had to plug it back in and it took about 10 minutes, I noticed that I would leave my phone in my bedroom and I would go into my living room and actually do the things I was supposed to do whether it was my morning routine or my morning goals, or just making breakfast and getting ready for the day. And then what I started doing was I started extending this by leaving my phone in my room for the first hour of the day. And instead, I used that to focus on my one big thing for my one big goal I was working on. So let me walk you through this process and how I think it's gonna dramatically change your life. So let's talk about this simple morning ritual here, which begins the night before, where you take out a little piece of paper, you're writing down, this is my number one goal, which for me right now is building my business continually. From there, you figure out what is one thing that may be the biggest rock that I need to push up to reach this goal. So for me right now, the big rock is I'm releasing a journaling course online and also a print journal. So I write that down, work on journaling course. Then that sits on my desk. So in the morning when I get up, I have my one thing ready to go. And that's the thing I focus on. So the next morning, the alarm goes off. You wake up, you turn it off, you flip your phone in airplane mode and you leave it on your desk. And then you walk into another room, you look at that piece of paper and you get started on your one thing. And if you have the time, dedicate anywhere from 20 minutes to 90 minutes on that one thing. And you're gonna see that your results go up so dramatically because you have the most energy, you have the least distractions, you have the most clarity at this time. And right now, all you have is the time for working on that one thing. Whereas later in the day, you're tired. You have a hundred things to work on. You have all of these distractions and all of these schedules you've got to focus on. But now you just have your time, the silence, and your one thing. So here are some ideas for what to actually focus on as your one thing. You could work on, for example, your workouts. So if you're working on getting fitter, you could do a home 20 minute yoga routine by watching a YouTube video or some kind of home workout that way. You could be working on writing your book or writing your novel. For 20 or 30 minutes, you just write and you don't edit and you see how much you get done. You could be working on planning out a certain life goal or just journaling out your goals and what you're gonna do to overcome the barriers to those goals. You could be figuring out how to get fit or improve yourself or you could dedicate that 20 minutes to making a healthy breakfast because that's the first step in reinventing your physical body and your health and feeling good. You could focus on some of the journaling prompts that I talk about here or in the free journaling course in the description. You could focus on, this is what I want five years from today, and every day I'm just gonna write out a little bit or just read it over to always remind myself this is the trajectory 
that I want to be on. And these are the little things I need to focus on each day. So if there's one thing you do that I think will dramatically change your life, to leave your phone in the other room and the first, whether it's five minutes or an hour, you focus on the one big thing you have to get done. Now don't forget, again, I've just released the free journaling email course. It's in the description box right there below that first link, journaling. You're also gonna get notified when the first 100 copies of the Master of the Day print journal are out. So make sure you add yourself to that email list there below. You'll get notified right when it's out. And again, you can get my last two videos right here and right here.